Yo, what's good, y'all? It's catch Yo, Yenica, and today I'm going to be giving you guys my long overdue Q&A session, all right? I know it's been a minute since we've really done, like, a channel update or just me, you know, talking face-to-face -face with the camera, so I'm about to do that for you guys today. But before we get into this video, for those of you who are new to this channel, my name is Akechi Yo, Yenica. I'm an alto saxophonist, multi-instrumentalist, songwriter, and performing artist from the Philadelphia area, and my goal is to become the next music legend to make it out of the Philadelphia music scene. I do song covers, performance videos, tutorials, basically everything man, vlogs, you name it. So if you like that kind of content, definitely consider subscribing to my channel. Alright, so I got a lot of questions that came in from both YouTube, Facebook, and a couple other places. So I had to I had to jot everything down because this is like a lot of stuff to cover. So the first question comes from one of my subscribers, Sebastian O. So the question is, what's your favorite saxophone? Honestly, I gotta say Alto. Alto just speaks for me more. It's just like I feel like it's my voice and music. Outside of that, it's probably I won't say it's high. Maybe tenor right after. Maybe tenor right after also, and then soprano. I'm not really a fan of Barry. It's just not my thing. I've never actually played a Barry before. Hopefully, I can play one day, but yeah, also is really my favorite. So the second question was, how old are you? So I'm 22. My birthday's coming up in a couple weeks. I'm gonna be 23. That's gonna be on Monday, December 2nd. So, you know, it's gonna be an awesome time. I'm really happy. I'm thankful to God that I made it this far, you know, in life. So it's gonna be pretty cool, you know. I'm gonna leave my cash app, you know, number or whatever, my name down below in the description if you guys wanna send me some gifts or whatever. It's gonna be a really nice time. We're gonna have a show on that Friday, December 6th at Heritage in Philly. So my first time performing there, and it's gonna be a really nice time to celebrate my birthday because I'm gonna be with my friends, you know, all my band members, and we're just gonna be making music. So what better way to celebrate your birthday than make music? All right, the next subscriber is Jacob. His question is, when did you first start playing saxophone slash other instruments? I started playing saxophone freshman year of high school. That was, man, <laughs> it's really been a while. Yeah, freshman year of high school, I got that. I ordered it from Zeswitz. It's a buffet crampon. I don't know if I'm even pronouncing that. It's some kind of crazy French or whatever name. I started playing clarinet back in fourth grade. Uh, yeah, fourth grade elementary school. But everything else kind of came randomly. Like, it was just me falling around. Like, piano, I've always been around the piano or anything like a piano toy, so... You could say I started playing piano when I was a baby. But for real, when I started going in, like when I started going hard on piano, that was like junior year, sophomore year of high school. And then a bit of this, see, it, it varies because I was even messing with piano back in middle school trying to get solid on it. Bass, I started learning bass. Uh, yeah, well, after, but no, before bass, I started doing drums. I was playing drums in junior year of high school. I was not that good. So, I mean, everyone's kind of not that good when they first start out. But yeah, I got really into it in senior year of high school. Everything I'm self-taught. Clarinet, I just, you know, I had music teachers in school, but I never had a private teacher. Like, everything that I know how to do, I taught myself how to do it on the instruments. Everything I learned how to play pretty much in high school and then, like, later in college. So, next subscriber is E, I'm going to say MM. I, I don't want to butcher it. But EMM, EMM, I'm gonna leave it down inside the, you know, the video. But his question is, do you prefer sax or clarinet and why? I prefer saxophone just because I always wanted to play it. When I was younger, when I was choosing between the sax and the clarinet, I wanted to choose the, um, the saxophone, but you know, I had really bad asthma back then. So like, my mom and I, we both decided, okay, well maybe, you know, clarinet might be better because it's not as big, it might not require as much air. But um, I always loved the sound of the saxophone and that's kind of like, it's it's louder um, just because of the composition of it is made out of brass. You know, clarinet's wood. I feel like my voice is easily heard with the saxophone. It's closer to what my idea of a perfect sound is. As far as my music, not like in general life, you know what I'm saying? Like that's basically my voice and music, so I'd say saxophone. All right, moving on to Facebook. So on Facebook, we have Andres Castillo. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, I'm gonna leave the name inside, this, you know, inside the video. How did you learn your instruments? How old were you when you started? 
and what was your motivation and inspiration? Those are really good questions right there. I learned all of my instruments, mine is like the clarinet. Mm, to an extent, but like I had somewhat of school for that. I learned basically all of my instruments by ear. You know, self-taught. Clarinet, it was only the formative years, like fourth grade, fifth grade, partially sixth grade. When like I was given like, okay, this is how to play an E, this is how to play, you know, uh, over the break. You know, that was pretty much, or like side key tricks and stuff. Like some of those things, a lot of those things, or a mix of that was in school, only in the formative years, but everything from like how to play jazz clarinet, how to um, solo over rhythm changes, how to do all this stuff, I brought all that. That's all stuff that I taught myself how to do, you know. It really wasn't, I'm not gonna say it wasn't hard, but like, when you're teaching to yourself something, it's not always gonna be easy. Perfect Pitch did play a role in my uh, development as a musician. Cause I was born with that. If you guys don't know what Perfect Pitch is, it's when you can identify a note or a sound and like have, I guess, the note name, I don't know. The, it, it's like, you can hear a B flat, and a B flat on a trombone and a, and a flute, and you can still, you know, a concert, and you can still pick up that they're the same timbre or whatever. Um, if a car horn or something starts ringing or like an ambulance truck, you can actually identify the pitch of it. You can even identify pitches for like doorbells. It's, it's random, look into it, but um, it's also very annoying, all right? It's also very annoying. It's not always the best thing in the world, but like, it was really helpful in my jam sessions because like, I don't have to ask, hey, what key are we in, you know? Um, but yeah, that definitely played a role, especially for like bass. I learned bass really fast. Everything really besides like drums um, was just like, I know the notes because I hear it, but it's all about the technical facility, you know? Can I play the notes that I'm hearing? So that's really, I guess half of the battle was already won. I don't know how to put it, but that's pretty much how I taught myself how to learn each instrument just by ear. As for a second question, I started learning all my instruments between the ages of nine and uh, see. I gotta think about this one. I wanna say nine and twenty-one because I haven't really taught myself how to play a new instrument in a minute. Clarinet, that was when I was like nine, because fourth grade. Saxophone, I was about fourteen ninth grade piano that could be when i was little like baby-ish or um, middle school really so that's like seventh grade see it's, it's so hard because it's like i have to think so far back you know bass i learned when i was about to turn 21. i got the bass for um right after black friday or it might have been on black friday i got it right before my birthday i was shedding it and it didn't take me too long because I heard the pitches and I was playing along, you know, I was playing with my friends' basses for like a little bit, just messing around. I not to mute the strings, but like I at least knew what the frets were. Not note names, but like I knew the whole science behind the frets and all that stuff. So In drums, I was 17 to 16, just around that area. Also, I know how to sing. It's a fun fact, I do know how to sing. That was actually my first art. You know? I've been singing since I was a little kid. But yeah, that's pretty much that. Um, what was this other question? What was my motivation and slash inspiration? My motivation, that's a good question. My vote, my motivation really was just to be the best I could be. I didn't really have any close friends that did music. Like I knew people around my area that did music, instrumental music specifically. But like, as far as close inspirations, they like, you know, I ain't know anybody that did it to a crazy extent like everything i did see when i started out was on youtube like my band directors were cool i had one band director mr shaner he was amazing he could play literally everything he was the guy that um, taught me how to play the clarinet back in elementary school so that was cool um, i won't say that he necessarily influenced me to play multiple instruments like i saw playing instruments as the same as playing video games you know you want to play the next game so you can play with your friends so I felt like the more instruments I could play, the more um, ways I could play with, you know, music with my friends and have fun. I also saw it as a way for like composition, you know. I'm a band director, not band director, <laughs> I'm a songwriter. And um, sometimes, you know, it's kind of hard to explain how you want certain instruments to sound. So 
I had a lot of trouble with that. And what I wanted to do was, I wanted to get into a position where I could properly explain how I want each instrument to sound. And I thought the best way to do that is if I learned how to play the instrument and get myself to a playing level that's similar to what I hear, you know, for my music. I ventured out and I did it. Of course it was not easy. I spent countless hours, days and nights shedding, practicing, trying to be at least close to what I'm hearing. Like, it's just, it's like I set a crazy high bar for myself, you know. I wasn't like, okay, if I could just play a couple scales and maybe a couple chords here and there, I'll be all right. And just like a little drum beat. The stuff I was thinking of was like advanced, so I'm not gonna say I'm advanced across every instrument. I still have some work to do, and I don't own every instrument that I play, but you know, I got to a pretty good spot to where I can properly explain what I want to hear in my music. But yeah, that's pretty much that. I think that's all the questions. I'm still down to do more Q and A's. Let me know if you want to see more Q and A's on my channel. I really love doing this. I like sitting down and talking to you guys, you know. Also, I've been thinking about this for a long time. I'd really love to have like a team name for you guys. Come up with some ideas in the comment section. But yeah, um, other than that, yeah, make sure to come to my shows. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing a lot of the Philly scene. Um, I'm getting a lot of my own shows now. I'm playing a Heritage. If you guys don't know what Heritage is, it's a huge, you know, restaurant in Philly in the Northern Liberties section. It's pretty cool. I'm playing at Chris's again, Chris's Jazz Cafe. If you guys haven't seen those videos, check out those videos on my channel. I'm playing at Chris's Jazz Cafe on January 23rd, on Thursday from 8 to 12. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all that good stuff, SoundCloud. Um, possible new project dropping next year. You know, no, I'm just saying. Possible. Keep out. Keep an eye out for that. If you guys like this video, please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section what other kind of videos you want to see on my channel, and make sure to turn on that notification bell so you never miss a video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.